we will uh, build the border wall, and I will actually have Mexico pay for that wall. So, uh, you know, I remember going to the rallies in 2016, and then candidate Trump would talk about, and that was like my favorite because I knew the border was a big issue then. It's obviously gotten worse since then, but it's a big issue. Um, and, uh, and obviously it didn't work out to where the wall was built and paid for by Mexico. But you actually, and I think, I think Trump's been in Iowa recently said, well, look, he's like, you know, I really had no mechanism to do it. There was no way. It's kind of rational. First of all, that wasn't what he was saying in 16. He said he was going to do it. But there actually is a way you can have Mexico pay for it. Here's what we're going to do. Yes, Mexico's not just going to pony up money and hand it over. What you do is you impose fees on the remittances that people send back to Mexico, Central America, South America, all across the world from the United States. That will raise billions of dollars a year, and that goes right into constructing that wall. We will get that done. But I think even more important than that is uh, no president has been willing to un until uh, when I get in, I will be willing to, uh, to treat the Mexican drug cartels like foreign terrorist organizations. Because if you look what they're doing, they're invading our country and they're killing our people. We have tens of thousands of people that are dying from fentanyl overdose. And I've been just in Florida, in New England, I mean, it's not just border town. Every community has become a border community because the drugs go everywhere. And I've had the chance to meet a lot of angel moms so these are mothers who have lost a, a, a child to fentanyl overdose. And what you find is, and look, the drug addiction is tough, and that's part of it, no question. But what you find is when uh, you have young people, high school, college, in their 20s, they may think they're taking some pill that is not fentanyl, but if it's laced with fentanyl, then they can die right there on the spot. I mean, one and done. This stuff is very potent. We actually had a case in Florida family was renting an Airbnb. They had an 18-month-old baby. The baby was crawling on the carpet. There was fentanyl residue left over, probably from whoever had it before. Baby died. Can you imagine that as a parent? You have a child that's just crawling on the carpet. All of a sudden, they die. because. So this is happening all over our country. Uh, we're, we're having Americans lost in huge numbers. The people in D.C. just shrug their shoulders. They don't care about any of these people, but I care about it. Uh, I want it to stop, and we're going to do something about it. We're going to treat them as foreign terrorist organizations. As president, you not only have the right, you have the responsibility as commander-in-chief to fight back when people are coming in and killing your citizens. So we will authorize the use of deadly force against the Mexican drug cartels. You have the cartels trying to bring in through our southern border. We catch them. We're going to shoot them stone cold dead at the southern border. But you know, speaking of shooting yourself in the foot with, with the people in D.C., you know, all the prices that you're having to deal with, groceries, uh, gas, um, you know, by the way, you know, we're going to do a lot on gas, I'll talk about that in a minute, but all this stuff, this was created by government, okay? Government started borrowing, printing, and spending, starting with COVID and how government botched the, the COVID response. Trillions and trillions of dollars, Federal Reserve, all this stuff, of course you're going to have inflation. There's no way you couldn't have inflation. So now you're in a situation where people in D.C., they're just continuing like, like nothing needs to be done. In fact, they can't even elect the Speaker of the House right now, you know, up there. I mean, how, how is that inspiring any confidence and what's going on. And so much of politics in Washington has devolved into political theater. It's all about just drama and the palace intrigue, but there's no results that are being delivered. We need results. Florida, we do it just the opposite. Uh, we don't do any of that. Uh, there's no drama in anything we do. Uh, there's no political empty calories. We just get the job done. My job as a leader is not to create drama and sideshows. My job as a leader is to get the job done for the people that I represent. So, for example, just recently, you have the situation with Israel. I knew instinctively that this would be an issue for Florida because we have so much back and forth with some of our citizens and their friends and family. And so a couple days go by. People in Florida are basically, and all Americans, are, most of these people are just stranded in Israel in the middle of this conflict, 
and the State Department wasn't helping them. The embassy there in Israel wasn't helping them. And so I said, you know what? There's a void of leadership. I'll do it. So we did an executive order last week. We scrambled our emergency management resources, and we sent planes to pick up American citizens and bring them back to Florida from Israel. So we've now done... We've now done, uh, I think we've done probably between five and 700. We've got more planes coming. We're going to end up doing between 700 and 1,000 rescues of people who do. Now, notice, we're just doing it. I have the ability to do it. I have the wherewithal, and we make it happen. The federal government, what they decide to do is, okay, well, we'll help you get out. We'll just dump you in Greece. So that's what they're doing. They're dumping these people in Greece, and then they're charging them for the transportation. And I'm thinking to myself, well, wait a minute. You come across that southern border, they will fly you all over the country free of charge. They'll put you up in hotels free of charge as an illegal, but somehow an American citizen fleeing a war zone? You're going to then send them a bill for this? Give me Talk about putting Americans last. So we came in, we've done it. When the planes go back to Israel, we bring cargo, we bring other things that have been donated uh, to help the effort. But that's just what leadership's about. You know, we weren't out there. I mean, I didn't, people have said, like, oh, you know, some of these governors are now going to go to Israel, some of these senators. That's all photo op. That doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not doing that because I'm here in the United States making things happen and getting the job done. That's what we need. We